So, um, and again, you do it the same way with poking a hole in it and holding it up to the sun so you can see the shadow on the ground. Um, we've got the, the tree branches is a good one. Um, and the colander is an easy one to pull out of your kitchen. Okay, how are you feeling about the weather here in Texas today? I am so excited that the sun is coming out. It's a little bit humid, but we're used to that in Texas. We have. To look up to see the different faces already. And as an educator, how are you feeling about people's reactions to the eclipse, to, to the science, to, to the things that they can do? It's been really fun. We've been talking about how the animals are going to react and is it safe to leave your dogs outside and how the birds are going to quit chirping because they think it's nighttime. And so it's been, it's been fun to, to, to Google and, and research some of that. Um, what, have been, what has been like the biggest question people typically ask of you? A lot of them are, are, why can't I just look up the sun? Why can't they, you know, and so you, you get a sunburn if you sit out in the sun too long. So imagine looking directly at the sun with your eyes and, and the damage that it can do to your retinas. And it's not even something that you'll notice right away. It may be something that you notice a day or two later that you sunburned your eyes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Julie, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, and now I think we're going to throw it back to the views in Mazatlan and maybe or elsewhere.